Alright guys, today I'm going to be painting my calipers on my uh, Volvo XC90. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you uh, a bit about how I go about that. Uh, firstly, obviously, once you get your wheels off, you want to give these a good clean. I use these wire brush attachments for a drill. I just find them really effective. For getting dirt and stuff off. There's a couple of different attachments you can get. Let's get into the little corners and stuff. I'm just going to give this a, a go and over first while it's in place. And I'm going to get the caliper off and uh, rest it somewhere and take the pads out. And basically you can take, this comes away in two parts, which will make it a little bit easier to paint. All right, so I've given it a clean up the drill. Uh, this one was quite effective at getting most of the dirt off. That'll focus. No. Anyway. So yeah. So uh, the next step I'm going to be doing is removing this clip. And, uh, and then taking the caliper off. So this clip, just get a screwdriver in there. <laughs> Make sure you get pull that around the corner so that top part sits on there, and then pop that out like that, and that's it. So I'll be giving this clip a clean up as well because I'm going to paint that. And the next stage is taking the caliper off. Alright guys, so I've moved the, removed the two 18mm bolts that are holding this caliper on and uh, that's come loose so I just want to pull it off as a heavy unit so make sure you've got something solid to rest on Alright Alright, next section is once you've got it rested somewhere <coughs> take the two rubber caps off you'll need a screwdriver to get underneath it and then underneath these are like Allen wrench bolts. So that is a number seven mil Allen wrench to take those out. So once you've undone these two seven mil Allen nuts, then this metal section just pulls right out, like that, okay. That'll drop out, make sure that goes back in the same place. And then that leaves, I can leave that there to work on that. And then I can clean this part up to paint. I'm only going to paint the front section where it's going to be seen. Right, so these calipers are clean now. Um, just wire brushed it as best as I could mm -hmm. uh, and then I use some brake cleaner give it a good wash down with that so that's ready for painting out of a section of wire brushed the parts you're gonna see anyway and then um, same again I've uh, brake cleaned that ready for painting so this be ready for the first coat uh, all right <clears throat> that's the first coat so I've just rested the caliper like that on a couple of blocks of wood to put a tissue underneath it and one round the disc. So I mean the first coat is like a rough coat really. Um, but you just want to make sure there's no runs. Uh, you know the more coats the better, better, better result I suppose. And that's the other part. So I've only painted the bits you can see. And the top tip once you've if you use this particular make, once you're done with the brush, you put it into an airtight bag and seal it. Then, uh, you know, you don't have to wash the brush out every time. You can just take it out when you need it. All right, All right guys, on the second coat now, just lay that on. These are my trusty Makita torch here. So yeah, up because this is brush on rather than spray on you just got to make sure there's no runs 
so you know the light of the coats you don't have to go too light but you can get a feel for it um, yeah and then you know just make sure once you've done it all you go back up you know have a good look over and make sure there's no uh, no areas where you can see a run of paint because uh, once it dries uh, you'll be sanding it back to make it look half decent uh, it takes about half an hour for this stuff to dry before you can recoat um, because my garage is quite cold at the minute it's January here in the UK uh, I've got a little electric heater that I'm using just to uh, speed up that process otherwise it will take a lot longer than half an hour for it to to dry for, for the next coat alright so that's the second coat I'll be back with the third this is the third coat so uh, it's really starting to cover nice now alright guys this is now the fourth coat so what I'll do now is I'll wait until this is dry and then I'll put it all back together <coughs> um, on the disc there put the fifth and final coat on it once it's in place so here you have it that's five coats and very happy with that the reason it's a good idea to give it a coat after it's all been put back together is that you're bound to uh, mark it a little bit putting it back together so you know once it's all back together on the brake disc bolt it all up tight then uh, give it a final coat and it just covers up any last little marks that you're gonna put on there so um it's quite late in the night now so what i'll do is i'll paint the kit the clips and i'll show you all the calipers with the wheels back on so i'm onto the clips now I'll just give that a first coat and after five coats of all the center hubs of the brake discs and all the calipers this is how much paint that's left so only looks like a small pot but it goes a long way so I'm going to get these done and then yeah get them on the car so five coats to go and uh, I'll use some rust treatment stuff on here I'll do another video on that these were literally caked in rust you just see that focuses small part that's left um, yeah I use this um, rust treatment by a company called HG and uh, basically leave them soak overnight and I couldn't believe it all the rust came off these and even these were black let's clean them right up so like I say I'm gonna do another video on that and I'll leave a link in the description of that stuff because I should have taken a before and after but I didn't so I'll have to find something else that's rusty and show you on that all right all right so here we have it all done car put back together all the calipers yellow I'm very happy with the results